Welcome to the stunning city of Limassol, located on the beautiful island of Cyprus. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the top 10 things to do in Limassol, showcasing its rich history, vibrant culture, and breathtaking landscapes. Get ready to explore this Mediterranean gem and make the most of your time in Limassol. Number 10. Limassol District Archaeological Museum this museum is the sister attraction to Limassol Castle, and traces the history and development of civilization on Cyprus from prehistory up to the end of the Roman era. A great deal of the Late Bronze Age, Hellenistic and Roman items on display were unearthed at digs just a few kilometers away in Cornea and Amathus. Among the most striking exhibits are a pair of ornate animal-shaped wine vessels and a freestanding sculpture of the Roman god Dees. Number 9. Sanctuary of Apollo Highlights a couple of kilometers west of the ancient city of Corian is this temple complex that was once the most significant religious site on the entire island. This is where people from all parts came to worship Apollo as god of the island's woodland from around the year 700 BC up to 300 AD. Large fragments of the sanctuary remain, including a section of the wall and portico of the temple, stairways, columns, a monument where parades or dances would have taken place and outer buildings where visitors would have lodged. Number 8. Olistro Olive Park and Museum. As you know, olives and olive oil are a staple of Cypriot and Mediterranean cuisine so there's no better intro to local food culture than this olive press and museum. Olistro is the largest olive oil producer on the island, pressing oil only from the Koroniki cultivar, and here guides and displays will talk you through its production, from soil to the bottle. Such is olive oil's importance that the product is suffused with local legend and folklore, and the museum here will teach you about the science as well as the mythology of the trees and their oil. Number 7. Akrotiri Salt Lake. One of the few wetland areas in the eastern Mediterranean, the Akrotiri Salt Lake occupies the center of the cape of the same name. Despite the lake's large circumference the water is never more than a meter deep and most of it is even shallower than that. Because of this, bird life flocks to the lake, especially in the migration seasons when all sorts of species stop here on their way to or from Africa. If you happen to be in Limassol in the winter months then you can come to the lakeshore to catch the spectacle of several thousand greater flamingos wintering here. Number 6. Colossi Castle. A few kilometers west of Limassol and on public transport routes is this fortress that certainly merits the detour. It was on this site in 1191 that the King of England Richard the Lionheart wedded Berengaria of Navarre following his conquest of the island. The castle was built up during the 13th century by the Knights Hospitaller, and the structure passed between this faction and the rival Knights Templar over the coming centuries. Today what's left is the compact keep, a large rectangular courtyard, a well in the ruins of a sugar factory, which was the local industry during medieval times. Number 5. Limassol Castle. A muscular presence in the old town, Limassol's castle is a history that echoes many of Cyprus' defensive buildings. It was erected by the Lusignans during the Crusades and recent excavations revealed both a Byzantine fortress and a basilica in its foundations. The castle withstood attacks from the Genoese and the Mamluk Sultanate from Cairo before being beefed up during the island's Ottoman period in the 16th century. In the absence of a conflict the lower levels of the castle became a prison, and remained so until the 1950s. Today the Limassol castle has a display of coins, weapons and pottery from different stages in the town's history. Number 4. Fasori Watermania. A cut above the other water parks in Cyprus, Fasori is an attraction that will need a whole day, and the little ones are sure to love it. Fasori has a Polynesian theme and packs slides pools, eateries and side attractions into its 100,000 square meters. In all there are 22 attractions, ranging from the high-speed kamikaze slide for bigger kids and adults, to the toddler-friendly kiddie pool. Grown-ups can take the weight off and book a massage at the on-site parlor or park themselves on a sun bed for the afternoon. Number 3. Acti Olympian. Partially fringed by Molos is Limassol's prime city beach, Acti Olympian. This blue flag bay is the easy option if you fancy a few hours next to the Mediterranean and comes with the facilities you'll need, from sun loungers and sunshades to waterfront cafes. You can get here with public transport and all sorts of shops or an easy walk away. The dark grey sands of the beach reach out for more than 2 kilometers and in parts Acti Olympian is 40 meters wide, so there's usually space to stretch out. Number 2. Molos. Between the city and the sea, Molos is more than a promenade, it's an eye-catching seaside park that stretches from the old port to the zoo. 
Molos turns a seaside walk into an art form, as together with playgrounds, rows of palm trees, cafes and benches, there are water features, lawns and sculptures to saunter past. On Sundays Limassol's locals will come to Molos for a family stroll, and if you like you can rent a bike for a few hours to pedal your way along this sophisticated strip of the city's waterfront. Number 1. Corian. There's 6,000 years of human history at this UNESCO-protected archaeology park just west of Limassol. It was during the Roman era that the city of Corian had its heyday, mentioned at the time in the writings of Pliny the Elder and Ptolemy. Corian's most complete remnants are from this period, and there's much to see. The terracing of the theater is mostly intact and the house and baths of Eustolios have vivid mosaics. Later in Corian's history the city embraced Christianity, so you can check out the Episcopal Precinct, seat of Corian's bishop, as well as two basilicas from the 400s and 500s. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more exciting travel guides from us.